Salvete Spectatores, it's Masipus. Welcome back to the now considerably larger Deutsches Reich Fond. Uh, Fond. Welcome back, welcome back to the 1939 start of Hearts of Iron 4 German Let's Play. Where we are very strong against Soviet Union but derping against Yugoslavia. Which is my own fault. I have to admit to that. Let's kill these guys, then we can surround a considerable portion of their army. I don't know what all these guys are doing. Just running through the territories. Okay. Now they're done. Let's push. Actually, it's not getting going on going too great. Uh, these guys are all pushing here. The motorized should go here with the cavalry. These infantry over here, half infantry here, half here. Hey. Like this. Alright, so everywhere we're winning, sweet. Oh, come on. Get your shit together. Push for Sarajevo. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're getting we're getting them down. Oh, my home city of Graz has been recaptured. That's nice. We're actually. Uh, we should win at some point here. I mean, how difficult can the, Soviet, uh, the Yugoslavian defense... Yeah, they're done. Alright. Wait a second. Get a new front. No. Only here. And you start as well. So let's have a look at Russia. They are very close to capitulation. 7% more. You just get in there. You have a new front. Oh, I don't have any more generals. Okay. Let's just get half. These guys will have a new task. Taking Baku. Excellent. Now all these divisions are captured here. Let's stop the attack and see. Maybe it's a little bit overkill here. We have a range, uh, only 160. Okay, that's bad. Lost another... Oh god, our, our navy is getting shredded now. This is not good. But I really don't care. The navy is it's, it's a fine thing, but it's not that important. Let's take these provinces. You take Virpuri. Finland is not at war with the Soviet Union and they really don't want to join our faction. We finished assembly line production. Gives us production efficiency cap. Here's actually a, a choice we had to make. The retention uh, reduction or efficiency growth. I don't know what to take for now. Let's have a look. 41. 66% finish, not quite there yet. Let's go for the pioneers or military police. Let's go for the pioneers. Colombia must send divisions. I accept. Wait a second. Was this Colombia or Venezuela? Uh, Venezuela, probably because these guys are democratic. What does it take to invite you to my faction? Hmm. Let's improve relations. Here we're gonna go boost party popularity and improve relations. What else can we do? Iran. Don't really care about them. They have oil, but so do we now. 
Yep, here, here we go. Let's kill all of our imports and see where we are at. We need a lot of oil still. So let's not import anything for now and just wait. New front line. We shuffle things a bit. And attack. You take Batumi, you take Yerevan, you take Baku. And you kill these guys. Can't be so difficult now, can it? They have a lot of divisions here. Resistance is bad in Russia, but will only be as long as we are at war and they are not killed yet. When we finish them off, there won't be resistance. here. Who? What is this? Is this Mongolia? Maybe Tanutuva? It's Mongolia. Mongolian cavalry will get to know what it means to oppose the German Reich. Die. Okay, the fall of Baku. Sweet. Earlier today, German forces successfully occupied the city of Baku, a vital strategic objective in their war against the Soviet Union. Located on the shores of the Caspian Sea, the city is the key to the Caucasus and its many oil fields are sure to benefit the German war effort. Its capture puts Germany in a position to expand the war into the Middle East and possibly even India. We finished the atomic research of nuclear tech which allows us to now go for... Hmm. I want to think... Uh, MP not that important. Could go for the Panther, Panther, which is the next level tank. Or the Tiger. Speed. I'm all about the speed. Where is it? 10.5. Six. Nah, I don't like heavy tanks as much. Maus is very slow. The Panzer can find eight Maus. Or the German World War tank, super heavy tank, blah blah blah. It's the heaviest fully enclosed armored fighting vehicle ever built. Completely unnecessary to my mind. The Standard Panzer is our obvious goal for now, but... Henschel gives the speed bonus, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Panzerkampfwagen 5. Panther is the common name of a medium tank deployed by Germany in World War II from mid-1943, so we're much ahead of time, to the end of the European War 1945. It was intended as a counter to the Russian T-34, which they never even built, ever even built in our campaign here, and as a replacement to the Panther 3, Panzer 3 and Panzer 4. While never replacing the latter, it served alongside it and the heavier Tiger tanks until the end of the war. The Panther's excellent combination of firepower, mobility and protection served as a benchmark for other nations' late war and post-war tank designs. And it is regarded as one of the best tanks of World War II. We'll do that, thank you. And Henschel is, I think, my most favorite... Uh, because most flexible tank designer. The max speed and reliability never hurts. Ooh! Ah, shit. Oh, I, I wasted... A I'm pretty sure a lot of points here. Let's actually take the time to edit. We have this guy. We could, could go for a second. No, we're lacking pretty much everything. Ah, lacking more infantry, so I could go for a second artillery here. What does it say? We need 3k artillery. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Don't really care. These guys also get a second artillery. I need a lot of infantry equipment anyway. These guys are fine. They will change to mechanized once that's once that's done. These guys are combat with eight, so I'm gonna go for a combat with ten here. And our tank is also fine. So it's time to change the tank design.
We're talking about uh, medium tank 2, Panzer 4. We're gonna pimp up the engine and the main gun. And the armor. So reliability is down, we have to get that up. So two everywhere is a nice, nice little overall bonus. We're gonna call it the Luchs. And this guy will be the replacement here of our two tanks. Doesn't really change much, because I'm not deploying tanks anyway. Japan is justifying against the Soviet Union, holy crap. Um, carrier focus. They did do the southern expansion, I believe. No, nothing. Hmm. Still could go for the northern expansion. Nah, I'm playing an historical focus, so they will go for the southern expansion. But I'll have to finish the Soviet Union before they declare. This is vital. So these guys are done. Let's take all of them. and give a garrison command, which is inefficient, but if we want to micro... If we don't want to micro, this is the way to go, so they will occupy all the territories. These divisions are done for. So they will reassign to this front line. Let's have a look at over here. Not doing too great. With these forces, let's push for Sarajevo, and with these forces, let's push to Bel Belgrade. Don't do anything without my command. Alright. Tank will secure Sarajevo. Ooh, I love the tank design here. Excellent. And then one final push to Belgrade, and this should be it. Where is Yugoslavia? Halfway down to surrendering, they have 75 unity as most countries do. Lost again some subs and I'm not killing anything! What the hell? Let's get all my uh, fleets and go to here. Let's actually have a look at our naval uh, air, sub air situation. I'm gonna delete all my forces. Um, there are no forces over here. Uh, here we have some enemy fighters, enemy fighters and bombers, and also enemy fighters and bombers. So, here I'm gonna deploy 200 fighters. Here I'm gonna deploy 200 fighters as well, the Steinadler. And here, uh, here is better. Alright, they're deploying, Moravia will go here, Tyrol will go here, and you will go here, both superiority and like this, perfect. Here it's contested now against enemy fighters and bombers, so we'll draw up a new, another fighter wing. Holy crap, why did all of you guys go there? Didn't I say just 200? Come on. Here, we'll put another 200. Alright. Oh, they retreated. Okay, so you will go to Northern France. We have a lot of enemy fighters, so let's do... Yugoslavia has capitulated, that's what I expected in the first place. There are a few British divisions which we, which we can kill. We'll do that immediately. Poor devils. We still only have question marks, although we researched the decryption. Interesting. 
Come on, kill these poor devils. We have three military factories again. What are we lacking the most of? 500 days, 80 days, 200 days, 80 days. So definitely artillery. Let's do the improved artillery. Oh god, have I changed the other? Yes, I have already improved artillery. Excellent. So you go to the top. Oh, still have ma Oh my god, a lot of military factories. Let's get another one. Improved artillery all the way to the top. Sweet. Italy wants to send divisions. Uh, you're not gonna join for now. They're derping around here. Soviet Union will capitulate very soon. There's no resistance left, basically. Just go for the victory points. How many divisions do they have left? Yeah, 60 divisions something. Against my steel, 331, okay. These guys need a new theater. Exercise, all right. We'll do, redo our whole army once the... Oh god. Oh my god! Oh, my fighters got killed. Holy crap. Let's not do that. Here I'm good. Good over here, good over here. Berlin has a problem now. Okay. We'll first contend with our core territory. Alright, some Soviets are trying to flee here, which is not good. What else? We're pushing everywhere. Holy crap, still 2%, what the hell are you doing? Where are our victory points? Here? Murmansk is also a victory point. Push to Perm. Nothing over here. Oh, we finished our first mechanized. Sweet. Go for here and here. So. Still 41. Nearly finished this one, so we are gonna go with the improved artillery and we are gonna change to Rheinmetall once more. Hungary wants to, send wants to send divisions. Excellent. Need rubber and tungsten. Oil surplus now. Rubber we have to import. There is no way around it. Can go with one from Siam, but nothing else. Okay. Are there divisions in there? I don't think so. Uh oh. Okay. Don't tell me I'm still at war with the other nations. Oh my god. Why does Xinjiang, Xinjiang, Mongolia and Hanatuva not capitulate with it? What the hell? Okay, whatever. This is it. I thank you all for watching. We managed to kill the Soviet Union. A uh, great day, to be sure. Here, a little bit Soviet Union left. Whatever. I thank you all for watching. Ah, we still have a few more minutes. Whatever, let's read this. Adolf Hitler has announced that this cowardly Soviet nation could no longer withstand blah blah blah, it's always the same. Okay. We finished befriend Turkey, which is not really necessary anymore. Uh, there are a few more innovations to do. Japan has already joined. We could do our naval innovations. Let's go for one research bonus for nuclear and rocket. Bonus for tank. Uh, and land doctrine, let's do this one. 
We, I think we have a lot more military factories. We're building three fighters and three tanks. This is what I want. You go to here. Three tanks, three fighters, two infantry, two support. One motorized, three artillery. Excellent. I'm gonna reshuffle all my army off screen so you don't have to watch this. Air war is looking alright. Still having some problems against the Allied Air Force. We have now 600 fighters supplied. They have. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. We'll eventually have to pump up our fighter production. Now Japan is derping around. They're not doing anything. And eventually have to help me against the United States. But our next target now that Yugoslavia and Deutsches Reich has, have been capitulated, have been killed, is the United Kingdom. They have a lot of fighters, which I don't like. We'll have to kill them. They don't have much of industry and let's compare this. 200 factories, maybe 80, maybe 80 civilians, 200 civilians. Yeah, yeah, completely. This is GG basically for them. We only have to overcome their uh, huge amounts of fighters. We have 334 divisions, they have maybe 20%. Now it's time to call in Italy and go for the UK. Sweet. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon.